and reading them out to you, I thought you may as well just take them in written form. And I'd also like to say that uh, the front of the press conference here, from the Chambers of Commerce, Richard Brown, from the CBI, Stephen Hall. Now today we launch our nationwide business tour, which is a tour of Britain that is going to take our message of change to all regions of the country. And in particular, discussing with business our plans for building a strong and modern and competitive economy. On Wednesday, I will be hosting a business breakfast for 600 businessmen in Birmingham with the Chamber of Commerce and CBI. And on Friday, another business breakfast for 300 in Crawley in Sussex. Gordon Brown, Robin Cook, Jack Cunningham, myself, and indeed other members of the front bench team will be meeting thousands of business people throughout the country. And the aims of the tour are to discuss with industry, commerce, and the city how we can work together to improve the performance of the British economy hear from business about its successes and its problems, build that new relationship between today's Labour Party and business, a relationship that is essential to the creation of a new Britain. Alongside the business tour, uh, Jack will be announcing the setting up of several competitiveness task forces, which will have the task of developing further the policies that we've already set out in the policy documents that we've put forward. And these will include task forces in the areas of design, research and development, small businesses, and so forth. At the same time, as you will know, the Institute for Public Policy Research is undertaking a major inquiry called Public Policy and British Business to look at wealth creation. And that will involve leading figures from all parts of the business world. Next year, we will then try and bring these themes and the results of our consultation together and publish a white paper on our plans for business, and the views of business will obviously inform that. The aim is to build that more productive, more competitive economy. The Conservatives' route of more deregulation, low wages, and underskilled workforce is locking Britain into low productivity, giving poor returns for investors and employees alike. That policy, we believe, is doomed to failure, as there will always be a country where there can be lower labour costs and standards than Britain. Indeed, the World Competitiveness Report, published a few weeks ago, placed Britain 18th in the Competitiveness League table. Whatever the promises that were made, the Conservatives have delivered 16 years of boom and bust, with each pre-election binge followed by a post-election hangover, low growth, high unemployment, a devalued currency. And as indeed the report on the Training and Enterprise Councils has shown just within the last few days, they have failed the skills needs of Britain's workforce. So they are no longer the party of business, nor financial prudence, nor safe management of the economy. The old labels are redundant, and the old dividing lines have changed. The old view, therefore, of the Conservatives as the party of business, and the Labour Party merely as a party of the trade unions, is obsolete, out of date, and redundant. We want this, however, to go far beyond merely reassuring business. It is not some charm offensive, it is an opportunity for tough and realistic talking on both sides. Now the business pack in front of you reproduces some of the key speeches made by the front bench in the last few months on macroeconomic policy, competition, consumer policy. At the front of the pack, we have a paper which draws together all the specific policies in all these areas, and there is a host of detailed policy in these areas already, and it's drawn together in what we hope is a clear and coherent way for you. Britain needs modern competitiveness. We must produce the goods and services that consumers want to buy through high productivity, excellent design, first-class quality, and innovation. To do this, we need dramatically to increase the levels of investment, of skills, and increase the excellence of our management. Creating world-class companies is primarily the job of those who work, manage, and invest in industry. But government can make a difference. And the new partnership that we outline between the Labour government and industry is to serve those objectives in the public interest. A stable macroeconomic policy, advancing businesses' cause in Europe, pushing forward the single market, undertaking that revolution in skills and training, promoting competition and breaking down monopolies and cartels, a strong regional policy, backing social partnership and dialogue at the workplace between employers and employees backing new technologies for communication and giving business the chance to take advantage of them, and of course the infrastructure 
and the modern integrated transport system that the country needs. Specific objectives that Labour will work with business to achieve in the national interest. We are a nation of great potential. We have some world companies, but we do not have enough. We are innovative, hardworking and resourceful. In the new economy, there will be an opportunity for raising our living standards, earning profits, strengthening social cohesion, and by creating the wealth, able then to improve public services. But to take that opportunity, we need a new direction. The do-nothing approach of this government will not let us shape change in the way that we must. Only a government which is prepared to roll up its sleeves and get to work and back our wealth creators as they need it. That is what New Labour offers. Thank you. Right, now, questions.